Welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Sunday, the 22nd of September. This week on the Battle Drill Daily Devotional Podcast, we explore the profound depths of God's burning love for us. We begin by turning to 1 John chapter 4 and verses 7 to 21. You might like to find this in your own Bible or Bible app so you can follow along. Loving one another. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only Son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, Since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God. But if we love each other, God lives in us and his love is brought to full expression in us. And God has given us his spirit as proof that we live in him and he in us. Furthermore, we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the Father sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. All who declare that Jesus is the Son of God have God living in them, and they live in God. We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect, so we will not be afraid on the day of judgment. But we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he loved us first. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, That person is a liar, for if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? And he has given us this command, those who love God must also love their fellow believers. Have you ever heard the story about the farmer who put a weather vane on his barn? But this wasn't just any weather vane, it had the words God is love written on it. One day, a traveller stopped by the farm and saw the weather vane spinning in the wind. The traveller couldn't help but smirk and ask, Do you really mean to say that your God is as changeable as the wind? The farmer smiled and said, No, I don't mean that. What I mean is that no matter what happens, God's love is always there. It's like a constant breeze that never changes direction. You see, the Bible tells us that God is love. This is a big idea that changes everything we think about who God is. Love isn't just one of his qualities, it's who he is. This kind of love is selfless, unconditional and eternal. It puts the needs of others before our own and it's what God does with us. If God is love, then everything he does is rooted in love. When we see God's involvement in our lives through his true nature, it changes everything. Challenges and trials aren't just obstacles, they're chances to experience his love in deeper ways. His rules aren't burdensome, they're ways for us to become more like him. To show this kind of love to others, we need to understand and accept God's love for us. When we grasp the depth of his selfless love, 
it becomes easier to show that love in that love in our actions and relationships this means forgiving those who have hurt us even when it's hard and putting others needs before our own just like christ did one way to show this love is to choose one person today to be extra kind to it could be a friend who's going through a tough time or a neighbor who feels lonely offer a listening ear lend a helping hand or just be there for them. These small acts show the love of God. Father God, I'm so grateful for your unwavering and selfless love. I want to utterly understand and embrace the essence of your love. I pray that your love will flow through me and help me to show it to others in practical ways today. In Jesus' name, Amen. And today's reflection question is, how can I show God's agape love to the people I meet today? If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.